which is home to one of Britain's most exclusive universities. Students here have access to some of the world's best academic resources at over 100 libraries. The exorbitant price of educational texts can hamper learning in countries with fewer means. In 2008, a group of academics in Cambridge decided to change this by offering free digital editions of academic texts via open book. First thing was to set up a website and make this book available free to read to everybody. And that's what we did in the first place. We invited uh, a couple of authors to begin with, very, very well-known authors, and said, do you want to publish the books that you have already written in a new edition that everybody can read for free? And they accepted with enthusiasm and uh, many more followed with their original works after that. So, you know, that's part of our mission to make academia come out from closed doors and really appeal to the general public and disseminate these ideas that take so long to, you know, to research and be written and then just make them free to the world to access. The idea was to reinvent the traditional publishing model, to make high quality texts accessible all over the world in a way that was quick, convenient and free to use, all important factors for reaching readers in developing countries. Most of these countries, if we were doing a standard distribution system, we have no way of distributing our content to Libya, uh, we have no way of distributing our content to uh, Algeria, it, it's very difficult to get the printed work out there. But here we've got readers that are coming to us, the online edition, the digital edition is available and it's coming online. On average, a publisher can expect to sell 200 copies of an academic book. On open book, a book is viewed 400 times each month by readers. Outside the US and UK, Greece has the largest number of open book users. Free ebooks have provided a boon to professors and students alike. When the, um, the crisis started accruing uh, um, in this place, um, uh, it was difficult for students to, to buy any books. Although at school we have free books, but not such books, um, which are called specialist books. It is not just a history book or a literature book. It's a, a special book about uh, um, romanticism and philelinism. And they should know that, and now they do so. I'm very glad about that. I didn't have to spend money uh, in order to buy the book, or I didn't have to spend hours at the library of the university to study the book there, because I wouldn't be able to borrow it and take it at home. Oh, I mean, I've seen with 40 titles used in classrooms in over 120 countries around the world, Open Book is removing barriers to knowledge, making it part of the biggest shake-up in learning since the advent of the printing press.